Hello everyone and welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, men and women. This is my thank you for all your likes, subscribes and shares. Let's get this bonus energy going. Welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome, welcome to all the new viewers. Look at that. The sun is shining. There's a new beginning here. You could have a new beginning with the Leo, but it could be anybody. So there is something new. Could be just the birth of a new idea. You know, the sun's shining. Things are becoming very clear. So, yay. <laughs> Lots of people are starting to get this energy. And the sun is shining here in my world today. It's a beautiful day out. I got the door open. My dog's there sunning herself on her sheepskin. Getting her little UV rays while I'm busy. She barks. I may have to pause it if she doesn't stop right away. So I'll apologize for that now. But that's the life of having a dog that acts like a three-year-old toddler. All right. Let's see. What is the overall energy for Capricorn? And a love. What is the overall energy in Capricorn's love life? Ooh, let it shine. Look at that. Something is, something wonderful is about to happen. Or you're just shining and somebody sees that. All right. Yeah, be fearless and bold. You're going for something or somebody's coming towards you and they're going to just like bring it on with this badger spirit. They're going to be very bold and very brave. Nice. Yeah, somebody's clearing out the clutter. They're coming in to heal things, and they're going to be bold and brave. They're going to let it shine. They're going to let their presence be known, that's for sure. They very well could be a Leo with this bold and fearless. Wow. I like that. I'm just going to put that here and this over here. Okay, yes, you may have to kiss a few frogs, or maybe you have, and you've cleared out, cleared them all out, all right, clearing your energy, you've gone through a healing, you're feeling clear, you're feeling better, feeling healthier and happier, okay, lovely energy. Capricorn, what's coming in, what's going out, what's changing in the love lives of the Capricorn viewers, clear messages and guidance, please, so they can make clear decisions in their love life, Capricorn energy in the cards, what do they need to know, oh, yep, somebody's had an epiphany, something, yeah, let it shine, there's going to be a surprise, someone coming in big and bold here, yeah, Three of Cups. Yeah, look at that. You're going to get some attention here. This, you know, the Three of Cups, it's interesting. It's like this is, I feel like it's going to make you happy. You're going to get an invitation. It's going to come as a surprise. I feel like this is positive. Yeah, this is a been there, done that. Somebody's going to communicate with you. I feel like you've healed from something. Well, you're clearing out some energy, you're taking your energy elsewhere, or somebody else has cleared the clutter out of their life, and they're coming for you, okay, and I think, think this person wants to take you out, you may have met this person out in the community, all right, amongst your friends, family, that kind of thing, but there's this epiphany, it's going to be a surprise, somebody is coming in very bold, so be ready, yep. This person could be, look at you, Capricorn, there you are. This person's obsessed about you. You've got this sort of devil-may-care attitude, too. And I kind of feel like you're you're also shining, all right? You're looking pretty good, eh? Looking pretty hot. Yeah, somebody's obsessed about you. They think you're the devil <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. You're more than likely, like most Capricorns, concentrating on your work and your money, right, and your home and all the things you need to do every day, trying to keep it together. Yeah. We got the Wheel of Fortune. So something came to an end. I feel like you were, in the past, that you were very fearless and bold. There may have been, um, you kind of let somebody have it who's, who was arrogant, kind of cocky, all right, yeah. You kind of let them have it. You put an end to something that you were possibly obsessed to, obsessed over, a person. Yeah, there was a third-party situation possibly. You were very bold and fearless. You let kind of 
you ended things all right you cleared this person out i think you've healed i actually do i think you've healed you put an end to a cycle of toxic behavior or somebody who was obsessed with you or vice versa okay there may have been a third party situation but i feel like somebody is coming towards you bold uh you want things to move in your favor you're obsessed about getting that yeah, you're putting something behind. You're ready to move forward. You're putting an end to a cycle where you have a toxic relationship. You've healed. And somebody else is that's coming towards you too. This is the funny thing. Like you're putting someone out of your mind and somebody else is putting someone out of theirs. Ending it, being done. End of this cycle, this roller coaster, okay? Toxic roller coaster. Nine of Wands. Yeah, we have this Nine of Wands putting something behind uh, somebody's there's some jealousy here too I feel a little bit of jealousy but this is the nine of wands being very brave and bold um, just letting it go admitting defeat screw it done moving forward successfully yeah I feel like somebody was a player in the past here and they were very toxic and you ended things you have an epiphany about that that this person was arrogant and kind of cocky uh, they left you waiting a lot. I feel like this person, they could, the reason they were like that too, they're obsessed about you ever since this came, tower came down and they've cleared somebody out of their life, likely this third party. And they don't want you to get away. This person's trying to figure out how to fix this. I mean, they left you waiting a lot while they were out playing, but now they want to come in and fix this before you get away. You can see this, it's melting right before her eyes. Sorry, this I don't have this on autofocus because I find it just goes in and out of focus constantly. So sorry for that. It's about as clear as I can actually get it for some reason with this software anyway. Okay. Yeah, you're taking a leap of faith. You're on a new path. I feel like you're ending this cycle. You're ready for a new beginning. And I feel like this person wants to fix things. They're going to take a leap of faith towards you to have a new beginning. They've ended something. They've, they've ended their own toxic situation. So they may have been involved with a toxic person situation. Um, you may have found out there was a third party and you ended things. But they're coming back in. It's going to be a shock. They're going to put some effort and energy into this. There will be a lot of communication. So this person's obsessed with you. They do not want you to get away. I can see that. They want a reconciliation. They're ready to expose things. But it's going to be up to you to pass this judgment. Now, a lot of people are getting this similar kind of story and energy. So if this is very similar in your sun, moon, and rising, yeah, you know what? Take, take what resonates for sure. Yeah, somebody wants to come forward and they want to have a reconciliation. They may be, this is somebody might have been someone who tooted their own horn here, you know, kind of cocky, arrogant, all fluffed up, thinking they were all that. Yeah, so, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to grab these cards. Yeah, they want a new beginning. Something was exposed, and I think you're just feeling, you've healing, you've cleared this person out, and yet here they, they're coming back for a new beginning, just as you're just about completely finished. But you are off the roller coaster. I, I do think you're quite capable of making a judgment whether you want to reconcile or not. You may already be on a new path. You've gone through this very deep healing. You've had an awakening. You're good to go. What's this peacock spirit about? What happened here? You know, somebody's putting the end, an end to something. There was a, this is painful. It's an end. It's being stabbed in the back by somebody who thinks they were all that. So there's an end. Someone's coming in to let it shine. They're going to be bold. They've ended something. It didn't go well, the ending. Yeah, this person's coming in. They want to, they're moving back towards you. They're going to be bold and fearless. Yeah, they want to do things right. They want to come in and do things right. Justice. They could be a Libra coming in. Uh, to give you some justice. They want to be fair. They want to move forward. They want to heal this situation, balance things out, and be more fair. Tell me about the frog spirit. What's this frog spirit about? 
Yeah. So you're become you're feeling more stable. This person is all right. They they're clearing out the clutter. They might be clearing out all the stuff from this person that's in their house, throwing it all away while they go through this healing. They're becoming more stable. This person wants to heal a situation with you and um, make it stable, be more committed. We'll see, won't we? Tell me about this tower. Yeah, you're focused on whatever happened. You're focused on this ending. Okay, I love that card. You're focused on what happened very much so. You know what you want and you know where you're going, Capricorn. This person's focused on you and what happened between you. All right, they're going to be bold and brave. They're going to have to be very brave, and it's going to shock you uh, when they come in. It's going to be a surprise. Uh, they may offer to take you out. There will be a lot of communication. They might be a lot of passionate communication. Tell me about the Three of Cups. What's going on with this Three of Cups? Yeah, this person's coming in. They're going to... They're going to sweet talk you. You might get a surprise. You may get a message from this person's third party. So be a little bit careful of that. You're going to focus on that. You're going to have to be bold and you're going to have to be very brave here. So you could get a message from the third party. If not, somebody's coming in to talk sweetly to ask for forgiveness to do with this third party. Okay. Um, they're going to talk sweet to you and maybe offered to take you out for a drink they want to talk okay they want to get together and communicate yeah they want to communicate and talk they want to move past whatever happened they want to they they're going to tell you they've taken their energy elsewhere they've they've ended things with somebody and they're clearing them out they want to heal this they may be asking for forgiveness for sure they're going to sweet talk you a little bit though so be a little bit careful I feel like this person's got a friggin' big ego. So maybe they're going to put their ego to an end. All right. Maybe they're going to come out of that, you know, strutting around like, like a peacock, you know, thinking they're all that. They're going to put that kind of attitude and behavior to an end. Maybe they've had some kind of an epiphany. More than likely because you shot this person down in the past. I feel you were very bold and brave. You moved past this person. You got your justice, okay? And you may yet again tell me about this Eight of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to come in. They want to work with you. They want to put some effort into this, okay? They want to build things from the ground up. They want to build on this. They want to, they're thinking of creative ways to move this forward with you. So I think you've been uh, just concentrating on work while you got yourself feeling stable while you heal. And... Uh, you could be working on new creative pro projects too while you uh, think about this and put some focus on everything that's happened here or this message is surprise. You might just concentrate on work while you sort this out in your head. Uh, you're going to try to keep your energy clear by concentrating on work. You're not going to, uh, I don't think you're going to get all uh, obsessed about this person second time around. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. What's going on with this Eight? Yeah, so you're working on a passionate. You're working on something you're very passionate about. It's been helping you. You've been putting all your effort, energy, and passion into it. And I feel that uh, it, it's really creating stability for you. It's helping you keep your, your head clear and helping you heal from whatever happened. Really nice. I feel like this person's coming forward. They want to work on this for and have a passion, a new beginning. Uh, they're passionate about having a new beginning with you. Uh, they may think of creative ways to get some passion from you, you know, some intimacy. I'd be careful. They're very obsessed with you. They've been fantasizing and everything, okay? So a little bit of caution, Cappies. Tell me about this devil card. Why is the devil here? Yeah, this person's obsessed with you about having, they're obsessed with love, and you may be too. You may be obsessed with love yourself and having a new beginning in love. Or you are obsessed with your love for this person when you have this new beginning. But we'll see here. We'll see what this 
tell me what this uh, wheel of fortune is all about that roller coaster that never seems to to stop there is a cycle coming to an end here I don't think you're obsessed about a new beginning in love with this person anymore. I think you're working on creative projects you're, that you're really passionate about. And you're having these really passionate new beginnings and very creative ideas. And it's really doing you a lot of good. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so yeah, th there was a cycle ended because this person didn't reciprocate. And you were very obsessed about it. You were very much in love with them. There was a lack of reciprocity. Uh, I feel like the cycle has ended. This person's going to try and uh, reciprocate to you now to get this Wheel of Fortune moving forward in their favor. Okay, so they're now ready to reciprocate. Hmm. Are they going to be more generous? They're obsessed. I feel like they're obsessed with you. Um, I'm hoping for the right reasons. There is emotion here. I think you've been fantasizing about a new beginning in love with this person um, while you've been working. And I, I feel like you're okay. I don't think you're like, um, I think you're coming out of that. But I do think they are obsessed and they're ready to come in and reciprocate. Yeah, you're not so sure. They, they're going to come in and I think you've been patient. I think you reciprocated to this person. You were very patient with them. You were invested and they weren't in the past. That's why things ended. You thought you were getting a new beginning in love and they didn't reciprocate that love. So you were very much trapped in that energy for quite some time, I feel. Nine months, maybe longer. I feel too that... Um, it's funny how every time I think of months, it just immediately goes to like a nine or a ten or something. It's really weird. Um, maybe seven months, but yeah. We've got this uh, person who wasn't invested at all. And you were very patient. Now they're coming in to get things moving in their favor. They now want to invest and be more generous. They want whatever happened. Uh, they want to put it in the past and move forward and have a reconciliation. But I feel like you've just about put this behind. You've quit investing. You're not reciprocating. You haven't been putting any more energy into it. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. What's going on with this Nine of Wands? What's going on with this Nine of Wands? This person that's coming at you could be a Libra or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. All right. See some Aries energy. Yeah, this person wants to apologize or they want to talk to you. They want to, um, they want you to, they want to put this all behind you and move forward successfully. It's taking a lot of their strength. They're going to tell you they have this strong feeling that you can do this. They want you to use all your strength and ask you if you can put this behind. They want to invest. So they don't want you to get away. But I think you're not so sure that sure they can, this can be fixed because this person left you waiting. They played you and left you waiting. And, you know, I think your feelings have kind of melted it's like you don't feel quite the same about this person anymore. You're not that invested in them. Uh, even if they reciprocate, you're kind of like, eh, I'm not so sure now. You know, tell me about the seven of swords. Yeah, I don't think you're all that so sure about this person. And I think you're going to be patient and wait. I think this person's been waiting for the right time to come in and talk to you. Okay. But they're worried now. They're using all their strength. They're trying to be fearless and bold to come in. And uh, they might tell you they took a lot of their strength to put um, uh, a Leo person behind, okay? Somebody who um, they were obsessed about or was obsessed with them that wouldn't let go of them, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm seeing excuses again. Damn it. Yeah, it's taken a lot of strength for them. So they want to they wanna fix this. They don't want you to get away. Yeah, I don't think you feel the same. I think you're going to sit and take some time figuring this out. Crazy. I think you figured out some time ago that this person is a player. Okay, I really do. I, I think you are just going to go off on a new path. I, I think you, I don't know, you might take a leap of faith. They want you to, all right? They want you to take this leap of faith. 
They want you to come forward. They want a reconciliation. There's a lot of things that need to be exposed. You're going to have to make a decision here with the judgment card. Tell me about this nine of swords. What happened here? What's going to happen with this nine of swords? Yeah, so you're tempted. You're tempted to fix this, all right? This person's tempting you by saying, I'm going to fix this. I don't, you know, I don't want you to get away. Uh, you know, I don't want this to be over, that kind of thing. And uh, you will be tempted to take a leap. But I don't know. I'm not so sure here. Tell me about the fool. What's happening? This is the one that slid out first. Yeah, you're going to stand in your power. There's conflict here. Like, you're worried about competition and you're worried about conflict you know this person's telling you they're ending all the competition they're ending that burden they want to end the burdens of the fight you had but i feel like you're standing in your power i, I really i don't know if you're going to be brave and take a leap of faith towards them some of you might some of you may be very brave and go off and have a new path because there's just you, you feel this person's a burden. There's too many conflicts. There's always competition. Yeah, you're going to have to make that decision. You'll be passing judgment. I feel like this person just toots their own horn. They're going to come in and kind of build themselves up and try to make you feel like it's all good, you know. Tell me about the judgment. What's going on with this judgment? All right, we got three here. Is this one, this one, and then this one. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like you're going to walk away. They want you to leave everything in the past and move into the future. You're not so sure. They're actually afraid. It's going to take a lot of strength. They're scared to be rejected. But I don't think you're so sure. I don't think you're going to accept their offer. I don't think it's big enough. I don't think it's what you expected or what you wanted. I think you'll focus on this offer, this surprise, whatever it is. Uh, very much and I'm not so sure because we're getting a princess not a, uh, a a queen here yeah Capricorn I don't know we got this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy like it could be this this could be the person uh, they're going to be brave and take a leap of faith towards you Capricorn possibly they're going to put an end to conflict challenges all the competition they want to end to this burden but I, I feel like there's just been too, for some of you, if you've got this Queen of Swords or Queen of Wands energy, I love it. Like I always tell people that when the Queen of Wands shows up, and I know a lot of people that listen to tarot get that. You don't have to be a fire sign uh, to have that energy. Um, it's really about being very brave, standing up for what you believe in and sticking to it, not letting anyone sway you. You're up for this challenge. I, I really feel like you're going to go off on a new path. I don't think, I think you're going to turn your back on this person. You're going to go find, they're not giving you 10 of cups, okay? They're giving you eight. And I don't think that's what you wanted. You want the 10 of cups. You want commitment, marriage, all that. You want this person and I feel like you're going to take your energy somewhere else. I really do. You'll communicate that to this person. You're, you're done with this, I feel, Capricorn. I really do. But I think you, you're going off on a new path. And uh, I think you're going to be communicating with a lot of people. You're not sure about this person one bit. You know, you, I don't think you like their offer. It's not, it's not the Ten of Cups. It's just a, a, a reconciliation. Um, them coming in and exposing what they want, how things are, what's going on, that kind of thing. It's just getting back together. You're going to make the decision here, and I think it's going to be to walk away. Not enough. No Ten of Cups here. There's not even a Two of Cups here. I feel like you're, you know, at one time you were obsessed about love. You love this person. You couldn't stop thinking about them. And then it came to an end. They didn't reciprocate that love to you. And I don't think they're going to uh, Capricorn. It doesn't look like they're actually going to reciprocate love. Uh, they just want to come in all fluffed up, telling you they've ended something. they got excuses. Uh, I think you'll just concentrate on work while you figure this out. you got some new creative ideas you're working on. It's going to help you a lot. So if that's your story, just work away. Yeah. It's giving you a victory. It's helping you clear your energy. It's going to help you cut this person out possibly once and for all. 
So this person could be a, uh, they could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius that wants to put the conflict behind and end the burdens. And uh, they want to come forward and take a leap of faith towards you, Capricorn. But yeah, they want to leave the past in the past. They may be worried about being, uh, you know, rejected or they might be emotionally blocked. I'm not sure what to do. But there will be communication. I just don't think you're going for it. It doesn't matter who it is. I just, I, I feel like this person is, uh, it's going to take a lot of strength for them to come forward. And they're really hoping you have the strength. They may even say it to be able to put this behind because uh, they don't want you to get away. You are going to be tempted. You are, but I think you're going to conquer that temptation because you're so strong and powerful. All right, let's see what the outcome is, and we'll go from there. I'll clarify some more if I have to. Yeah, I think you're done. You're taking your passion and energy elsewhere. I think you got other people communicating with you. You may be meeting other people. You could have somebody else who meets you uh, that you've met recently that's, you know, wants to talk to you. But I feel like this third party could communicate with you, and you could... It could be a shock. They could communicate uh, and tell you what's happened, share your feelings. And uh, it's going to be a lot of talk. Uh, I think you're, you're I, I really think you're just not, you don't want to even get into it. I think this person's going to sweet talk you and try to sweeten the deal by asking you out, though. This person coming back, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I feel. Yeah, they could be a Scorpio. Oh, Capricorn, Capricorn, Turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. So I think you're going to walk away gracefully. Um, this person may come in and uh, try to give you some gratitude. Um, they might, you know, be gracious for what you've done. They may thank you for some things, whatever it is. Okay, that sort of thing. But I think this person's a turkey. Uh, it's funny because there's a turkey here and there's also a peacock and I, I'm going to be honest I get a vibe from that I feel like this person is not worth your time I think they strut their stuff and they think there's something they think they're a peacock but they're actually a turkey okay that's how I feel and um for some of you this could all come about during Thanksgiving uh for you people in the USA all right, Thanksgiving will be coming up. It could take this long to play out, or you may make your decision on that day. They might invite you to a turkey dinner, okay? Or they want you to cook a turkey dinner for them. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. All right, but yeah, I think this person comes in and struts their stuff, and I think they're just a turkey. Yeah, enough is enough. There's always enough. I think you've had enough. I don't think you want to deal with this person. It it's kind of doesn't matter what they say. It's just there's something about their delivery, um, having to use their strength to come in and ask you if you can put this behind, if you can move forward, if you can move past whatever happened. It's an apology, but it's wishy-washy. So I think there's enough. I think you've had enough of this person and enough of this. I think you're, you're done being obsessed with it. You're ending the cycle. You're feeling very powerful. Yeah. You're ending the cycle. You got the wheel of fortune in your favor. It's a lucky time. This person's going to try to get things to go in their favor. So be careful. They may invite you to a turkey dinner. All right. With the koi fish here, this person, you know, koi, uh, I don't know. It's, see, there's some keywords here that concern me. But this person might have hopped from person to person, born, possibly born in the year of a rabbit. So they could be a, a Virgo. Yeah, so we got, you know, I think you're going to end this cycle. And I think you got, uh, if you end this, things are going to move forward for you. Okay, things are going to go well. Um, you got the wheel of fortune in your favor. This person wants to end whatever happened between you and move forward, but. I think they're a turkey. It could take until um, the American Thanksgiving. For any of you who aren't in the States, check out that date. Uh, whether it's Thanksgiving for you or not, there, a date may be specific. Somewhere around there where this person may contact you and, you know, try to uh, 
reconcile and get things going in their favor but i feel like this person is just not worth your time so what is one more outcome wombat spirit yeah be at home this person might invite you to their home but i think you're going to just stay home <laughs> i do um, they feel you know they want things to move forward in their favor they want to come they probably want you to come to their home or they're going to invite you to their home possibly for a thanksgiving dinner but i think you're going to stay home in your own home where you feel safe okay because i feel like they're clearing their house out and they're going to invite you to their home it's kind of like they want to talk to you on their own turf where they're comfortable okay so if you're okay with that you know you can talk to the person but yeah i don't know if you want to put the effort into it yeah you're going to have to make a quick decision here so this person's maybe thinking on their feet they might be sneaky too so be careful they might they're they're in and out okay or you might be have to think on your feet uh, if you go to this person's house and uh, so be ready to do an about face and run the other direction if you go to their home to talk to them all right so be ready to think quick or have a plan ahead so that you can get the heck out of there so they might be a little bit sneaky when you get there and try to uh you know, this is this is like the I get always get the energy of the the Knight of Wands, you know, Mr. Passion. So a little bit cautious there. All right, everybody. So there you, there's your message. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you that there was somebody coming in uh, to stay. You might decide. Some of you may, um, you know, decide to put this behind you and not be sure, and then decide to put some more passion and energy into it to see where it goes all right so you might be at a bit of a crossroads let me pull one more I'm trying to make a decision whether you want to keep going or or give this another try with this person you may have several people to choose from by then yeah i don't there's a lot of regret and remorse here i think this person stresses you out too much i really don't think you're gonna reconcile i really don't i think your judgment's gonna be a big fat no and you're gonna reject them Okay. Take care, everyone. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.